Rugby the 17th of August 2017-17-26 by Craig Gray Alistair Cootsie Springbok head coach during the Springbok team announcement at Garden Court, Kings Beach on August 17, 2017 in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Image Michael Sheehangalo Images The box will have no shortage of line-out options both in the starting 15 and on the bench for Saturday's vital rugby championship opener against Argentina in Port Elizabeth. Kasim was named at number 8 over Jean-Luc Dupriez in an otherwise predictably straightforward selection by coach Alistair Coutsy. The Cheetahs used Kasim sparingly as a line-out option in Super Rugby, taking 12 balls over the entire season while managing to steal two. But with Lockie Burn Elizabeth and Franco Mostert as primary ball winners Kasim's mobility around the park and his ability as an extra breakdown option are what probably tipped the selection his way. Kasim is a good carrier and a nuisance over the ball. His selection will also have the added effect of throwing the Pumas' analysis off as they would NT have expected such a left-field selection from the box. It will be only his second cap, his first coming at the end of the disappointing 2016 season when the box lost to Wales in Cardiff. Kasim was one of few Bok players to come out of that match with his reputations intact. The free stater is closest in style to the rangy, but injured Warren Whiteley, which was another factor in his selection. Blindside flank Sia Coley C is also a line-out option while Dupree's and Peter Steth Dutois on the bench give the box more artillery from the bench in that area as well. Cootsie didnt tinker too much with what worked during the 30 series win over France in June. The only other change to the backline sees scrum half Ross Cronia, who missed the third test in June through injury, return to the starting lineup with Francois Hugard relegated to the bench. Although the team shows consistency in selection from June, it also highlights just how much has changed in less than a year for the team. There are a total of 15 changes to the 23 that lost 5,715 to the All Blacks in Durban in their final outing of the 2016 Rugby Championship. Several casualties from that day weren't available this week due to injury but even taking away the likes of Whiteley and Julian Riedelingus who played that match, it's still a high turnover in less than a year. It points to more clarity from the coaching staff, who demonstrated a clear plan both in terms of selection and tactics in June after the flailing about of last year. The addition of Brendan Venter as a consultant has added a goal-driven voice of reason while Franco Smith has been able to become more influential in the team's tactical approach. Crone's selection highlights this. His ability to kick cleverly, clear the base of rucks quickly, coupled with his understanding of playing alongside fly half Elton Janchis superseded any of the athletic and X-factor advantages who guard brings. Similarly centre Jan Serfontine is now the clear leader of the backline defence as well as a man who can set the attack from number 12. Yankees now has players either side of him, with whom he is forming an understanding, which will add to the cohesiveness of the team's attack in particular. With a backline that played virtually the entire June series together, the box should start bringing more detail and intricacy to their backline play while Kerwin Bosk's inclusion on the bench is the right way to introduce his sparkling talent to the test arena. Time Slive